So in our next example, we're asked to find the radius of a sphere whose total area is 144 pi. And I'm going to start by drawing a picture of a sphere so I have a visual aid. Okay, so to start, I'm going to write down the formula for total area or surface area. I think I referred to it on a, pre a previous slide as SA, surface area. The surface area is going to be 4 pi r squared. But in this particular problem, they tell us what that area is. They say it's 144 pi. So I'm going to plug that in for surface area. Now take note of the fact that the pi exists on both sides of the equation, and as a result, it's going to cancel out. Now, if I divide both sides by 4, the 4 on the right, the 4s on the right are going to cancel out, and 144 divided by 4 is 36. So we're left with 36 is equal to r squared, which means if we take the square root, r is equal to 6. So we've just found the radius of the sphere by using the formula sort of backwards. We're not asked to find the surface area. We're given the surface area and use the formula backwards to find the radius. Okay, let's take a look at another example. In number four, we're asked to find the height of a cone whose base has an area of 64 pi whose total area is 144 pi. This one's a little bit more difficult than the other ones that we've seen so far, but we're going to start in the same way by beginning with a diagram. Okay, so let's start. Find the height of the cone whose base has an area of 64 pi. Let's start with that little fact right there. The base has an area of 64 pi. Well, the base is a circle, and the formula for circle is area equals pi r squared. So if they tell us that the base area is 64 pi, I can work backwards with this formula to figure out what the radius is. 64 pi is equal to pi r squared. The pi's are going to cancel out, and I'm left with r squared is equal to 64, which means that the radius of this circular base is equal to 8. So I'll go ahead and label that in the diagram. Now they also tell us the total area. So we've got to think for a moment what actually makes up the total area of a cone. So TA, total area, it equals the base, which is pi r squared, but it also represents the curved portion of the cone itself, which is pi r l. So let's see which elements of this formula we know and what we have to figure out. So the total area is 144. That's given to us at the end of the question. So that represents this, 144 pi. Now this represents the base area right here. And we know that the base area is 64 pi. We know that the radius of the circular base is 8, which means there's only one thing left that I could possibly find, and that is the slant height. So let's see what we really have. 144 pi equals 64 pi plus 8 pi L. Let's start by subtracting 64 pi from both sides. Now 144 pi minus 64 pi is 80 pi. These are going to just cancel out. So now we're left with 80 pi equals 8 pi L. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 8 pi. The 8's cancel, the pi's cancel. So we're left with 80 pi over 8, which is really 10. 10 is equal to L. So this over here, this L is equal to 10. So if we focus on this right triangle in the middle, we've got a blank 8, 10. Oh my God, that's not a 10 at all, is it? Sorry about that. Um, we've got a, a 6, 8, 10 right triangle, so the height is 6. So this is going to end up being 6. That's what they're asking us to find, find the height of the cone. So the height ends up being 6. And that's what they wanted us to find, and we did it. Let's go on to our final example. And for our final example, we're asked to find the total area 
of the hemisphere, half of the sphere shown. And it looks to me like when you slice this sphere in half, you get this cross section, which is a circle. And this particular circle has a radius of six. So we want to find the total area of this. So I'm going to start by writing down the surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared. So for this sp specific sphere, it would be four pi and then six squared. Well, six squared is 36, and four times 36 is 144 with a pi at the end. Now this would be the area if we had a full sphere, but we only have a half of a sphere, so I'm gonna take half of that, and that leaves us with 72 pi. But the thing is, there's a little bit more. We also have the circular base. Imagine taking that hemisphere in your hand and picking it up and looking at the bottom. The bottom is a circle, and we also need to include that circle's area in our final answer. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, or specifically in this case, pi times six squared, or 36 pi. So the total area of the hemisphere is gonna be the sum of these two other answers. So our hemisphere has a total area of 72 pi plus 36 pi, which in the end ends up being 108 pi. Okay, so I hope these five examples have shown you how to use some of these formulas. I think a lot of it starts with just drawing a good diagram, labeling, and writing down the formula. This will generally guide you through the process. So I hope that this helped.